guys have to go. Oh, you guys just watched Bonfire 10 play. I'm sorry to the entire stream that you <laughs> had to witness that. That, that set took forever. Three, two, it's showtime. One, go. No. Is it Will Ferd Brimley? Or uh, Will Fred? I think it's Will Ford. Will. Will. I don't Ford. know. I'll check the challenge. Brimley. I apologize in advance. If I misspell this, Three, I think this is around two. two. Yeah, this could be around two. Yeah, it is. Go. Um, doesn't have it on the challenge, so we'll, that, that's good enough. This is friendly. Oh, that's what's your tag? Uh, Cadronade. What? Cadronade. C A D R O N A D. Cadronade? Yeah. All right, so we got Kunai versus Brimley right now. We got Kunai whipping out his Falco. I actually talked to him right before this set started, and I told I won. Kill off, yeah. Uh, so I missed apparently kill off the top, which is pretty, which sounds pretty sick coming from Falco. But I was talking to Kunai before this match started, and I told him, uh, if you're not feeling Mario, if you're not feeling Pit. Then try out Falco, because Spacey is absolutely destroy Snake. Yeah. I think Falco low-key dominates Snake in the neutral, especially. And like Snake's just that just that Ooh, weight. That, was, that weight that you can do that. Yeah, that, that was, was godly. That was slick. Dude, I would yeah. never have done that in my entire life. I would have been a weenie. I would have uh I would have shined down air for like <laughs> 60%. And then like maybe hit him off stage. Kept trying to go, yeah. But Kuna is a god, so yeah. he mean, doesn't he doesn't follow our rules. Yeah, he has the melee experience, so he he knows what he's doing. I mean I'm surprised he knew that, that would that he would be able to get that just off that. That was really smart. Um, he's definitely yeah, when when you mentioned he was struggling like with Mario and Pit and he wasn't feeling it. He, I was playing him in friendlies last week and he was talking about how he really just like couldn't feel out a character and he's having a lot of trouble with that, so I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting to see where he goes. I mean, I've seen him play a bunch of characters in tournament over the past few weeks. Which is just been I also don't know how good uh, Brimley is at melee, so I don't know his experience in Falco. Or I don't either. I think he plays Spaces in melee, so one of them. I think I saw him once. I haven't entered melee in a few I, weeks, so. I played his, his Puff last time. Okay. I think he also has a DK. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He plays DK. That's right. DK and Spaces are way different. Yeah. I mean, right. they do. They do both chain grab. They do both chain grab box to death. So I understand yeah. the confusion there. So Kunai with a solid stock lead right now, but Brimley is looking to bring it back. He got him stuck. Yeah, but if Falco doesn't want to get touched against Snake, he's not getting touched. Yeah. Uh, I think Kunai is running in a little too much. Uh, but I guess it's working. It's working. Oh no. my gosh. Let's go, Kunai! Okay, so... Commentator bias. I don't need to be unbiased because we're on Hitbox now. Oh, yeah. So that's a... We're that's not eSports. Yeah, that's a restriction that was removed. Pretty godlike. I do support Brimley, though. He's the homie. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. Both of them are super nice. Kunai, Kunai wants it really bad, though, so... Kunai's an up-and-comer. Oh, So, definitely. like, I, I respect that a lot. Him, like his desire to, to improve in this game. Oh yeah, I can really. Um, It'll be scary once he settles on the character. Really, really wants to get. Oh no, he gets hit by the grenade, but don't think too big of a punch off of it. I know this now. Oh my god, these are just some creative punishments coming out of uh, Kunai right here. Every time Kunai gets him up in the air, he's getting a really solid punish on him. Brimley just seems to be trying to get back to the ground as fast as he can. Wow. Really hurting. Yeah. That was really uh, smart. He's just getting pressured really easily. Yeah. Like, it's kind of hard with Snake to escape that kind of pressure. Oh, because definitely. he struggles in the neutral game. Wow. Snake. Throw. Up air. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just shake snake shenanigans. 
interesting thing to note about this matchup is that in that situation, you saw Kuna use his jump when he got hit by the up air. Yeah. But as spaces, sometimes you can just immediately shine out of hit stun, and that's a better option than if you had just regular like jumped out. Yeah. Because you'll you'll just shine one frame, beat out whatever whatever yeah, anything it is. they put out. I wasn't quite able to make it there in time. Four air. Yeah, that, was a, that was a smart up by Kunai. Yeah, it was a good angle. And Brimley missed the stick, so... I don't think Brimley's really uh, pressuring. No, he's not. He's just he's trying to play the long game right now. That was good, though. Really. Uh -huh. he's, he's playing a lot more around the grenades this game with the lack of platform. That's really smart, though, because Falco... Oh, definitely. Falco can't play around the grenades, but I don't know how good, how experienced Kunai is with doing that. Yeah, that was a nice down air on his shield. Can't down air. Uh, you should down air spacey. So I think I think uh, if you do get a down air, you should just this is the chain grab. You have to chain grab spacey. It's like it's a necessity with snake. You can't oh, yeah. you can't let Falco go off with just a little light tap. You gotta you gotta you gotta attack it on. You gotta spank him. Can't give back neutral. Wow, nice yeah, Kunai needs to, uh, to shore hop laser more, because that can beat Trank. Definitely. Yep. Oh, wow. I was actually expecting a, a bear bar. He didn't even need the sticky it there. Needed, yeah. I was surprised because earlier in that stock when he hit him off stage, I thought he was going to sticky him and hit into the spike. Yeah. Because that's kind of a staple for uh, yeah, snake that's, head that's, guarding. Yeah, that's the flip special. Yeah, the one, two. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good. Nice stick. One more grab and that should be it. He's got to pop him up. He's pressuring Kunai a little bit more now, and he's getting his footing. Yeah. Wow. Kunai should be playing a little more back with it when he's trying to laser force him to do something no, much faster. I, I actually think he has to pressure. Wow. That was he, he had to do that um, in that situation when you're like... That's when you're high enough where a raw sticky will kill you, then you have to aggress against Snake. And yeah. Like, because you, can't, you don't want to give him that opportunity to set off the stick, or to like make you think he's gonna set off the stick and then fake you out and then grab you. Yeah. And uh, so that was really smart play at the end there by Kunai, but Wilford showing why he's a powering player. Uh, he 11th, played the... I believe. What? I believe he's ranked 11 in this PR. Oh, uh, Brimley? Yeah. Um, I think so. I don't know. I know he's very solid. Yeah, he has so. a solid ranking. He moved up, I think, from last time too. Well, that's that's all the more reason for Kunai to win this win. Yeah, this would this would be good. My Brimley's no slush. My opinion is, wow, he stinks. Uh, I would have actually switched from Falco. Because, like, once you get that counter pick advantage Three, against Snake, there are so many things you can do. Especially when you got. Wow. That's, that uh, C4 actually sent him nowhere at zero. Uh, okay, not getting hit by the Trank. That's the yeah. improvement. Yeah. That was really smart. Covered all options of the fire of the uh, firebird, except for uh... one one. Oh, we haven't updated the oh. score. You should probably do that. It is one one. Gee, I thought you could update it with your mind. Friendly with the I first. I thought you were that good. You let me down. What? Turn the balloon counter off. Which one? Oh, main. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. I'm learning things. Oh, chain grab. Oh, you got three. Snake a little. Uh, so, I don't know if you're a melee player, but... I am not. I watch a lot of melee, though. In melee, you know how you can't do, like, that... You know the brawl pivot grab that you can do in this game that you can't do in melee? Yes. Where you can... Run, you can turn around and grab out of your run. Yeah. You, that actually makes it a million times easier to chain grab spaces in this game. Like with Marth, and especially with Snake, because uh, Snake's pivot grab is massive. Like his brawl pivot grab is massive. Yeah. Or yeah, his grab in general is massive. 
massive, but... Yeah, it's an interesting mechanic. Like, I know several characters, like, Kirby has a really long pivot, pivot grab that I know of. It's, like, one of the random things I know about this game. Currently uh, with a solid lead right now, though. I'm really surprised that Kunai decided to bring him to this stage, considering, like... Yeah, he's been really struggling with the platforms right now. Yeah, this is... Like, this is where I know most Falcos, like, don't like this stage at all. Because the platforms will just mess up their movement. He couldn't... That's a very risky edge guard there that uh, Kunai went for. Yeah, he was probably just banking on having the small sides against Snakes so he'd look less. Yeah, the back air. I think he should be doing more uh, grab ledge invincible down air off the ledge. Yeah. That's a staple in this matchup. Ripley's been winning the neutral pretty hard with his explosives. Anytime he's had a moment to get a mind down, he just takes control. And... Kunai oh, running right that, and... Kunai didn't get the sticky on him. Wow. And... Ripley takes it 2-1. That was a good set, though. That was... Uh, first, first game was really good for Kunai. Definitely put up a good fight. Kunai just lost all of his momentum. Oh, definitely. Really confused as to why he decided to go to Fountain. Yeah, that was interesting. Yo, Kunai! Never mind. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later I will... What? Okay, you can tell Thanks me for their Bye, guys. New two, new two, new two. Uh, Separus and Float. Float is going to be the Falco player, and Separus, Separus is going to be the Ivysaur player. Separus. U.S.? A.S. Wait.